Hi guys, welcome to Ask the Doc where we will dive in a simple question asked by my patient which is, can sleep deprivation increase my anxiety and increase my depression? The quick answer is yes, let's dive in. So the reason why I'm actually doing this topic is because myself have been suffering from insomnia. Basically, I'm having a lot of trouble going to sleep, and it's probably because it's a product of kids, lifestyle, some stressors, working night shifts, and just the overall process and stress demands of the job. But I use this video to educate you guys while I learn myself. Did you know that sleep deprivation is actually seen in 50% of people with underlying psychiatric issues? We're talking about OCD, PTSD, depression, or anxiety. So it's quite prevalent if you have an underlying psychiatric issue that you're also suffering from insomnia or at least initiating sleep or poor sleep hygiene. And to improve these conditions, you should really take time and figure out why you're not getting sleep. Is it a certain stressor? Are you not relaxing? Is your caffeine use is too high? Are you taking too many stimulants? Is it a medication side effect that may be impacting your sleep? And then indirectly worsening your OCD, worsening your bipolar disorder, anxiety. In teenagers, uh, they were shown that sleep deprivation preceded a diagnosis of anxiety by almost 27%, and then uh, depression in teenagers, uh, sleep issues preceded that diagnosis by 69%. So if you're a parent out there and you have a, a teenager that's actually suffering from some anxiety or depression, look at their sleep hygiene. It may be the biggest thing that you as a parent uh, can improve with your kids. I'll give you my perspective of what sleep deprivation has done to me and basically it's made me an irritable person. I snap at people, especially my toddler or my new baby, uh, not that I'm hurting them or anything, but my temper or my temperament uh, in which I handle uh, you know, silly things that my kids do, it just agitates me more. So now that I've altered and adjusted my sleep, and I'll talk about sleep hygiene if you guys are interested. That's a whole big video on how to improve sleep hygiene. I'm a little bit more rested with my, my children, uh, and I can handle you know the webs and flows of this uh, wonderful adventure called fatherhood. But yes, you do have feelings of persistent sadness, uh, feeling of emptiness, uh, feeling a state of rush, anxiety, uh, and that can also bring about depression when you're sleep deprived. In fact, if you have so much sleep deprivation, it actually could put you in a PTSD-like state of a combat veteran. Uh, anything that twitches you is going to put you in a hyper uh, excited state. Your cortisol level is going to be ratcheted through the roof, and anything you eat will stay as fat and you'll start binging. Uh, be honest, I've been binging a lot in the office. I've been eating a lot of junk food and uh, I'm slowly trying to make some men's and adjust the sleep cycle so that I can improve better, uh, so I'm not irritable, not snacking, and eventually just living overall a healthier lifestyle. What is your chance of getting anxiety? What is your chance of getting depression and it showed that it's almost 10 times higher uh, of getting uh, depression if you're sleep deprived and 17 times uh, higher if you're sleep deprived to develop anxiety. Guess how much this uh, is costing America? Sleep deprivation, insomnia, uh, just the loss of productivity that you could be as a good employee to your employer. $400 billion. That's freaking amazing. And it's all because America is working way too hard. All right, so another reason why I'm actively looking into this topic is because uh, I later 
found out uh, that you can have increased rates of dementia. Obviously, I don't want to lose my mind. I'm only 36, but they have seen that the gray white matter on uh, brain scans actually shrinks with uh, sleep deprivation. And the, the reason why for the, the shrinkage is there is a cell called astrocytes that indirectly work uh, in a negative way in the setting of sleep deprivation. All instead of uh, building and supporting neurological health, they actually start taking it down. So you can see shrinkage. And uh, it's not much shrinkage in, say, a 30, 40 year old brain, but they're also seeing shrinkage in a 60 year old brain uh, that has gone for a long period of sleep deprivation. Okay, just to be a little bit entertaining, I got a couple of memes that talk about basically sleep deprivation, and then I'll elaborate on the experiences I've had myself. Uh, this one is hits home very well. It's my wife. Uh, basically lack of sleep and it shows a, uh, basically a mom smashing her face in a pillow and says I suffer from a sleeping disorder it's called children basically if you are going to have a baby pretty soon you're gonna learn today what sleep deprivation is try four maybe three or maybe two hours of sleep and do that for yeah, maybe about three months until teething kicks in and which the sleep will boom, drop again. Enjoy! All right, the next meme is priceless. Uh, it says, when the baby falls asleep on you and you have to try to move the crib. Uh, <laughs> it's a, basically a bomb squad. Uh, you have this cute little chubby smorsel of chubbiness and it's so quiet and peaceful and then you got to, the biggest challenge is moving them out of the car, specifically from the car seat, or if you have them in one of those regular car seats, uh, and then getting them out and into their bed, on their pillow, in their clothes, while taking their shoes off. It's a very dicey situation, especially when they were pissed off and hangry, and you just want them to sleep through the night. Uh, you have to handle it with such delicate care. Uh, there was one time when uh, my five-month-old had to be transferred uh, and uh, I did everything beautifully. I got her out of the car. I got her off me because she was passed out on my chest. Uh, slowly shimmied into the house and I tripped over my damn son's car and it kicked uh, across the living room, the baby startled, and all that effort canceled. So if you're going to join fatherhood, feel free to shout out a time when you were defeated by your kid because of some simple thing, uh, and uh, we'll all embrace into supporting children and fatherhood and motherhood. And my last one, uh, which is kind of hitting home now because my boy is at the house uh, during summer break and the transition to fall, is when you realize school ends in 21 days and your kid will be uh, with you all day, all day long, every minute, while you're taking a dump, while you're in the shower, while you're climbing up the stairs, to avoid him while he's downstairs, while you're running downstairs, while he's upstairs. He will be there all the time. He is your shadow. He loves you so much. But yes, uh, it is horribly exhausting and taxing to have someone that is on you all the time. Literally, my son is on my back all the time wrestling uh, and it's... Uh, at times it's ridiculously overwhelming. So if you guys as new parents feel horribly exhausted and you're undergoing sleep deprivation, keep in mind your rate of anxiety and depression will go through the roof, uh, but be open, be mindful that this is parenting uh, and if you need help, uh, get it.
Uh, if you need a sleeping medication, get it. If you need to hire a nanny, get it. If you need to hire help, get it. Do not use your own like self pride that you feel you can do this on your own. And yes, it takes a lot of people. Maybe it takes a medical doc. Maybe it takes a, a spouse that's going over and beyond. Maybe it takes a babysitter, a grandma. Uh, use these to your advantage so that you don't lose your shit. I have lost my brains uh, because of this with very little sleep and I've been on edge. Now I've kind of changed things. I'm slowly getting better sleep, uh, a little bit more rested. I've hired help. I'm trying to help with the wife, especially with cooking and kind of uh, the aftermath of when the kids are down, we can settle and talk and just basically check in with each other on how we're doing as a couple. So if you got kids, uh, comment below what your stresses are, uh, things that we can deal with as a community and uh, try to make a, ourselves better uh, so that we don't end up in full depression, that we don't end up in full anxiety and impacting our ability to function as good loving parents. Once again, this is Ask the Doc. Thanks for joining. Next topics coming soon. Uh, click subscribe. Uh, if you enjoy the content, and uh, ciao.